Hey friends, I don't know if you're ready for this thrift haul, but it's long overdue. I have like, I think 20 plus items. I believe the last thrift haul I had was sometime in the fall. These are items that I've gotten since then. We'll see, I did do a lot of thrifting from like November to December because I was doing a lot of whatnot shows during that time. Get yourself a coffee, which you know what? Your girl got one today. Mm -mm. So yeah, we got lots to cover, but I also want to share my fragrance for today and it is Floral Berries by Dossier, who is partnering with me on this portion of the video. This one smells so good. This is a perfect, like, summer nights scent. I want to say it's very floral, very sexy. The top notes are peony, red apple, berries. Okay, just the peony. I'm obsessed with peony flowers. I literally have some on the counter right now. And then the middle notes are rose, carnation, jasmine, and the base notes are suede, accord, and musk. I love musky scents. And Dossier has a wide range of designer fragrance impressions inspired by like popular fragrances. Each scent is crafted with the best ingredients from Grosse Front. So yeah, check them out. I'll leave the link in the description box if you're interested. And let's get into this thrift haul because your girl got a lot. So I'm gonna go by category and I think I'm gonna start off with the dresses first. Let's get to it. I feel like if you've been watching my vids, you've seen a lot of these items. First dress I have here is this one. It's definitely a nightgown piece and it's in this like stunning chocolate color. It's mesh and it has this like print. I wanna say it's like a giraffe print. Maybe more of a midi for sure but this with some boots stunning like so i found this dress at m vets it was in the nightgown section and when i saw it i gasped just one of those pieces that i personally am always looking for i mentioned this a lot but like i really like the silhouette of the dresses that realization par has but i feel like it's really hard to find them in plus size i know they have their own dresses that go up to a extra extra large but i think their extra extra large is like US 12. When I saw this like nightgown dress, it totally gave me that vibe. I have worn it a couple times already. It's definitely for me more of a dress that I like to wear in the evening. I think I got this for like $5, so it was a pretty good deal. The next dress I have here, I actually got on Whatnot by the seller called Shop Costura. Her name's Steph, and she always has such amazing Whatnot shows, so if you have not followed her there, definitely should. She was doing like a dress show. I think this was a couple weeks before my birthday, and I was kind of looking for a birthday dress. This one, and I was like, Okay, if y'all have seen my other videos, you've definitely seen this dress already. Something about this yellow seemed less intimidating for me. And if you saw my color analysis video, you know that um, this is in the tones of my color analysis. The bottom has some mesh details as well. And there's some beadings and sequins in the front. And this is such a stunning dress. I can see myself wearing this in like the summer with your hair up with a lot of highlight. Oil on your hands looking very sun-kissed by the brand called Signature and it's a 3X. I always like to tell the brands because when I see a piece online and I'm like oh my god I wish I knew the brand so I can try to find it in my size I have been on the hunt for a polka dot dress I think it's because I've always wanted to get this polka dot dress and it was a very limited edition that they had that dress I think it was the Claudia Claudia collection and unfortunately I cannot find it anymore I remember seeing it like sometime in the fall that they had it in like the international site but I was just like well I don't know I don't know if I should get it because again those dresses are like $300 I kind of kind of wish I would have gotten it because I'm always thinking about that freaking dress all the time is this is me trying to figure out how to find my perfect like polka dot dress and this one is I think close enough and it is this dress right here it's a maxi polka dot dress and this is by this brand called Virgo it has little self ties in the back I got this dress on Poshmark for like ten dollars of steel honestly it was first of all it was a little fitted but also the zipper was broken so I had to go get it altered and this fixed the zipper so I'm excited about that the only thing I kind of want to do is it has lining inside and I get it lining is gonna help a lot and like protect so it's not just see-through but I kind of want it to be part of me wants to take the lining off but uh, I feel like that's gonna be really hard <laughs> and I don't want to mess the dress so I'm still contemplating on taking the lining off as well as these little self ties but overall a really really beautiful beautiful dress so this is another dress I also found on Poshmark. I don't know how I came across these listings, but it was this person who was selling beautiful, stunning dresses for like $10. New with tags. Check it out. Look at that. It is this black maxi dress with the little florals in the front. Some beading on the flowers as well. This one also has double lining. You know this was just sitting in their closet because it still has the tag new 
and the little bag just in case the beads come out can you believe that this has not been worn like that's insane i've been really wanting just to expand my dresses and i really like maxi dresses and and i feel like they go with everything and so i've been trying to find dresses for that and i think even these would be perfect for like any occasions if you're going to a event i can also picture this in a wedding like wearing this as a wedding guest dress like, i did end up getting two different ones from that seller the other one did not fit your girl so i did end up uh, putting it on my one of my whatnot shows but the other one was just so gorgeous as well this cute little dress and i've just been in a dress obsession in april i went to the thick thrift la like pop-up you haven't heard from thick thrift it's literally a flea market for mid to plus size bodies and i was elated to go i definitely want to go again i have two items from that day it is this beautiful dress right here it has these florals and it's like in this light blue color almost looks kind of turquoise I me mean, i've been trying to get into pattern and color so i thought this was really stunning then the bottom has like an a-line hem which one of my faves it doesn't have adjustable straps but the straps has beads as well it's interesting how i saw this dress luis ended up seeing it on somebody else and he's like oh wow that looks pretty i was gonna tell you about it because that person ended up leaving it because he saw the person like picked it up and go like this with it and i was gonna tell you about it but you ended up picking it out and i was like okay so then i asked the vendor if i can try it on because there was fitting rooms but i was like can i just put it over my top just to see how it fits because you know i, I had to try it on i did end up getting this dress and it's by this vendor called Miley y Paola. I'll leave their Instagram down below. I ended up getting two pieces from her store. This is by the brand called Eva Blue Plus. For sure gonna check this brand out. I feel like most of these pieces will look better on the try-on because I'm like, I don't know if there's enough space of me showing it to you, but I think you get the gist of it. So that was all for the dresses. Let's move on to some bottoms. So from the same vendor as the last dress that I showed you, I found these pants. I ended up getting these pants which have a belt attached to it which i think it's pretty cool they're striped but the fun part is is that they have the seam open so you can see your shoe I'm looking for these kind of like striped pants for a while i do have one pair in my closet but not gonna lie those are pretty fitted and when i wear them i kind of wear them unbuttoned because they don't fit your girl i want to keep them in my closet still this brought me back to childhood karina because i remember this brand specifically it's revolt there's no butt pockets as well which is one of my faves very like disco for me every time i put them on i feel like dancing i'm down with it that event was so busy that day it was really hot and it, and it was just so nice to go in and know that you know you're gonna be thrifting things in your size because i've had instances when you go to a flea market and you don't really know if they have your size it's really nice that there's a space like that the line was long to get in it did move fast but it was long a lot of these companies and brands want don't want to cater to plus size bodies but i'm like, and their excuse is like oh maybe there there isn't a demand for it and i was like there's a freaking demand because that line that i waited for us to get into the flea market was massive because if they can do that with secondhand clothing you can freaking do that with your brand so the next item i got on poshmark and they are these red gainum pants i want to say these are like pj pants because they don't have pockets when i found these in like a straight leg they're really comfortable they're so soft on the skin the brand is dapper james which is land's end five percent cotton five percent spandex so it's just it feels so nice i have been wearing these for a while obsessed with these stop it i just realized <laughs> that this bottom is also by lens and and it's red gainum i found at this thrift store called eco thrift it me and luigi were going kind of sporadically like in december i want to say and i came across this skirt and i was again i was looking for a gainum print and so <laughs> we found this i just thought it was so gorgeous i was a little nervous because the tag says it's a size small but when I put this on y'all, I don't know if this is like the sisterhood of the traveling pants or something, but this has amazing stretch perfectly. And then I've also used this skirt as a top. So it can be like a little peplum top. I love versatile pieces. And I feel like skirts are one of those items that you can interchange a lot. I want to say I paid like $5 for it. In the summer, I can imagine this with like a nice like tube top, little heels. I feel like it's so important to have fitting rooms 
in thrift stores. That's the only way you know what fits and what doesn't. This next skirt is something really cool. I got it on Whatnot by this seller named Robin. She's also a subscriber, so hi Robin if you're watching this. Check out her Whatnot, she sells a lot of cool things. I've been wanting a little ballet skirt for a while because I do want to go back into doing ballet, but also just I like how interchangeable this is because it is a literally just a piece of fabric and i've worn this so many times recently i kind of wear it like asymmetrical and then i do like a little bow on the side and it's by this brand called natalie dancewear and it's a paper tag so i'm assuming it's from the 90s you can even somehow use this to make it into a top you know what i want to try that exactly. so the next skirt is something that i actually thrifted for one of my whatnot shows and it didn't end up like selling and then i tried it on and i was like girl what are you doing keep this one it is just a black maxi skirt and it has like a side slit the black one that i own is in a different material but also it's like straight like no slits or anything like that so it's like that slinky material where it feels kind of heavy just realize it's 95 percent acetate and it's five percent spandex so it's probably the that acetate that makes it feel strange either way i think this skirt is adorable it's a little bit different than something that i own in my closet and i feel like in the last couple months i've actually been picking up this skirt more than my other one so i'm interested to see how this is going to work more in the spring and summer but i do like that little detail of the side slit it just it just adds something you know so i have another bottom but it comes with the top and it's actually a brand sent it to me so i thought i'd show it to you it's by this brand called subset and they make 100 percent organic loungewear they sent over this little cute lounge set which is these pants These are so comfortable and so soft what i like about these pants too is that they're more of like a wide leg and i just see myself wearing that more actually i did travel with these pants and then i also just got like a simple tank as well it's 100 percent certified organic cotton i just thought i'd share that because these are new items in my closet and i also want to thank the subset for sending these over and it just feels so amazing on the skin high quality very comfortable and if you're looking for you know a brand that has comfortable sustainable 100 percent organic clothing definitely check out subsets Actually, the most recent thing that I thrifted, me and Luigi went spontaneous to our local saver. I was looking for some jewelry and we ended up looking at some tops and I came across this one. I freaking enjoy the neckline of this. It's so pretty. And I did like the little ruffles on the side. And then I checked the tag and I realized it was free people and I was like, okay. But what really intrigued me is the material of this because I wanted something kind of more breathable for every day, you know, in the spring and summer. I believe this is 100% cotton and I think this top with any bottoms would go perfectly. This was a little pricey. I believe this was like $10 at the thrift. Yeah, but it is a really nice piece and it is free people i know free people is one of those brands that is a little bit more expensive so this next top i got in the winter it's so pretty it is by banana republic navy off the shoulder top and it has like a little bow on the side i wore this when i went to go meet a subscriber this is 100 percent merino wool so it feels really nice again because i know wool can be itchy but this this one's not itchy at all and this color is just so stunning and i feel like for me it's so hard to find off the shoulder top especially because i feel like a lot of them could be annoying and this one not at all it literally stays on your shoulders and that's the thing i feel like a lot of off the shoulder tops always get off your shoulder i did find this at the eco thrift in promona and i don't know if it was the same time as i got the red gangnam skirt but I want to say it might have been. And again, for finding 100% merino wool for $4, it's a pretty good deal. This next top is actually from the same thrift store, the Eco Thrift. I found two Harley Davidson tees. One I did end up putting on a whatnot show. And I just had to keep this one because I really liked it. It is this tank right here. It says genuine Harley Davidson. It says HD. And then the back says uh, Montclair. I've actually styled this with my like sequin skirt too and it looks really nice but yeah just a casual like harley davidson tank and i think this one was like three dollars y'all so i was shooketh about that as well yeah, i i realized when i do like harley tees it's more in this like silhouette and style and then this top i got on whatnot from steph from shop costura and i believe i only got this one for four bucks really good deal i just really like anything funky and sequins and that's what i'm trying to get in my closet because i realize a lot of my stuff is very solid one color which is it's okay but i feel like i was missing some prints or something fun pink but it has this star in the middle and it's all sequins 
top for sure in the summer. I've already worn it a couple times. If you follow me on social media, I feel like a lot of these pieces you've probably seen. I just have not showed you them. This is why we're doing this video. It's by this brand called Tavio and it's 100% cotton. This next top is also from Whatnot. I got it from Backstitch and you know, I love Backstitch. Her name is Christy and she has a lot of cool sales on there. I don't know what it is about me and like these big printed florals, but I've been enjoying that and it is this one right here. It's just a white tank and then it has that floral on the side and even in the bottom i like how the stitching is in blue it's by this brand called eyeshadow in the back there's nothing it's just white i paired this with just jeans and i done like a fun eyeshadow look even like with the color of my nails i have also just been obsessed with this kind of blue lately and even the flower has some glitter i think it's hard to tell i want to say this is like a y2k piece to me it's giving very like lizzie mcguire another top that i got from backstitch on whatnot is this off the shoulder top i really like how it's like crocheted it's kind of see-through so i think it works perfectly for the spring and summer even like going into the fall it's really hard to tell but i've noticed too that this also has like a subtle like glitter reflex and the way i really like to style this is with like a denim mini skirt and like some boots but yeah i want to say this one was also like five dollars on her show and this is by the brand called apartment nine and it is a two -way. so this last top that i have here is a top that i was trying to sell on one of my whatnot shows um, i didn't end up selling out and i brought it out and i styled it with a skirt that i own and i really like how it looked so i'm really happy i decided to keep this piece and it is this crop top right here it's like in this oat kind of color but it has little floral details everywhere and then it also has like the little self ties in the front but i also think this can be cool if you want to wear it backwards too if the if you want the self ties in the back and this is a crop top for sure so i feel like when i wear this i like to wear it with something a little bit more high-waisted it is by wild fable i never seen them release this before i also have styled these with my linen pants and i think it looks really good and those were all the tops i did place an order on thread up because i had some credit and i was interested in some pieces funny enough because i was going to film my thrift haul today but before i started recording the stuff arrived so i might as well just show you so the first piece i have here are these gainum shorts i wanted shorts in like a gainum print i've just been wearing that a lot lately easy to pair it with any other basics that you may own even like i feel like with the top i'm wearing these shorts will look cool i actually old navy they're a size extra extra large originally i had some other like gain and print shorts on there i think they were like an extra large when i was checking out i could not find them i don't know what happened they like released out of my cart and then i checked to see if they sold did not sold it wasn't in someone's cart i don't know if like the website had a glitch and then after i did my order guess what shows up in my favorites those shorts so i'm hoping these work out because i feel like these might be a little bit oversized if not i might actually go get um, these altered and, and i also have a little self tie on the side so you have these little bows yeah, i'm excited for these gingham shorts and i think i got these for 11 dollars. so the next piece is this dress this is by anthropology and it came new with tags i did not even notice crochet style black dress with the little ruffles on the shoulder really really nice if you want to take out the lining so it can be like that see-through moment and sometimes what i do do is actually um if the lining is separate i'll like raise the lining up and then have like a little see-through underwear moment i also just like the little ruffles on the shoulders because i feel like you can wear it kind of off the shoulder I can picture myself wearing these with little ballet flats a red lip i think i have a theme here it is this puff sleeve black crochet top it has a little like self tie in the back i love the neckline on this especially this top with like a pair of jeans maybe with your hair up in a bun and little kitten heels you know even this with like those gainum shorts i just got so cute this is by the brand called ostra the label and it is a size large the last item that i got in thread up are shoes which i think it's a perfect segue to show you the last items that i have which are accessories Let's open them up y'all i am a bedazzled queen right now so these are it they're ballet flats with rhinestones and it has a mesh lining i've been loving ballet flats and i wanted something a little bit fun and when i saw these with some rhinestones i thought that would be a really cool interesting shoe to have i will say i'm interested in adding maybe like a little strap to make it more like a mary jane so we got those so let me show you the other shoes that i have because i'm running out of space in my memory card the next shoes that i got it's just that i've been obsessed with like 
belly flats and mary janes and it is these ones right here so when there's like velcro and it's just so easy to put on i will say i just noticed that the leather is cracking i have worn it a couple times i think it's starting to peel no but i found these at savers i want to say i got them for like eight dollars sometimes i'm able to thrift shoes pretty fine and then sometimes i i can't so it's a love and hate relationship with thrifting shoes so the last pair of shoes that i have are one of my favorites because i've been in the search for a flat knee-high boot that fits my wide calf i measured my wide calf and i believe i'm a 17 and a half i really wanted like those vince camuto boots but they were sold out everywhere in my side and then i went to community thrift on a random like rainy day because apparently going to the thrift on a rainy day is a good idea and i will say i kind of agree because i found these boots there they are actually by coach they are 100 percent genuine leather and they feel buttery soft kind of remind me of like the campus fry boots which i did end up like thrifting some fry boots on poshmark but i have them listed on my poshmark because it did not fit your girl on her white calves and i realized with these type of boots i do like having it a zipper because putting those boots where there's no zipper and you just like putting them off it don't work for me and i got these for 12.99 one of my favorite thrift finds i want to say because i was searching for these style of boots for a while especially online and then i went to the thrift store one random day and found them it's just that is the power of manifestation i will say and then the last item i have to show you is a bag i don't remember where i thrifted this bag but i remember getting it because it reminded me of the potato vanega style bag and it's also a hobo bag which i really like hobo bags but like tell me that doesn't look like that potato vanega style bag it's so pretty it's in a really good condition so there is no tag but I really love the style of this because it fits perfectly on your shoulder. You can fit a lot in here. I feel like I can fit my own laptop in this bag. And it also has the clasp on the top. I think it's gonna be perfect, especially for my travels. I'm gonna be in France. Well, when this video goes live, I'm in Paris. So, you know, I took this bag with me. I think I, you see a lot of brands kind of redo this style and silhouette. And I'm always just like, there's something out there at the thrift. When they go up to me and, and be like, is that a potato veneta? I'm like, nah, girl, it's from the thrift. We did it. That was everything that I've thrifted the past six months. I feel like I found really interesting pieces and I cannot wait to style them even more because I feel like I have been styling these pieces recently. To be honest, I can't believe that we're already going into the summer. What? What is time? Like it always baffles me how quickly time is shifting because I just remember like it being like the holiday season that is all for me i really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out dossier the link is going to be in the description if you want to follow me on all my socials i'm living as karina on ig tiktok also you can check out my vlog channel i am vlogging for my trip in paris if you want to see some of those vlogs they'll be on my vlog channel i am glad we spent this time together and let me know what is something that you've thrifted recently or just one of your favorite items in your closet and you're excited to wear it now that it's getting warmer outside that is all for me loves i love you so so much thank you for everything and i'll see you soon with a new video bye